Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I am back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. If you are new to this channel, I share videos about geology, mining engineering, GIS and geoscience in general. If you are interested in one of these topics, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these amazing 3D landscapes in two different methods. And guess what? Both of these are free. Although the second one is more flexible, so make sure to watch the full video. Also for my Patreons, I will drop a new useful script for you guys after this video. Thank you for supporting this channel. And with that being said, let's dive in. So in the first method, we will need just QGIS. It's a free tool. It's my favorite GIS tool and it's open source. So you can basically create your own plugins inside of it if you want. And uh, we'll need just two different plugins. The first one is the quick map services. So if you don't have this already, all you have to do is to go to plugins, manage and install plugins, and then look for quick map services under all and it should be this one for me it's installed but in your case if you don't already have it all you have to do is to click on install and it looks like there's a an update so i'm not going to do that but yeah the second one will be like the three uh the qgis uh two three gis so we've used this in the past but i'm going to show you a trick how you can make your 3d landscape map stands out so you know that i've got plenty of tricks so make sure to watch the full video okay so um let's go and load load the uh google satellite base map that's the first thing but you can choose whatever you want and the second thing let's choose a location so this is where it's really up to you you can choose any location on earth but basically for this we don't have any elevation data so that's the sec the second piece of data that we will need and then for digital elevation models you can download them from websites like uh usgs uh, earth explorer for example and i've already covered um, a tutorial in the past in which i showed you how you can create your own simple web application that you can use to like put in the extent of uh, the area of interest and we'll be able to download a DEM for that area. Okay, so you can go and download that one. But for me, I've created a simple script here in QGIS that's gonna do that automatically. So all I have to do is to find a location of interest. Um, let's try to find something interesting so maybe this one so i'm going to give this one a try so you can see that this is the area of interest so i'm going to show change this one to wgs84 and for you guys who are supporting me on patreon you will have access to this script that i'm going to use right now so if this video is live you should be able to uh download that one basically make sure to change the canva coordinates to wgs uh, 84 basically latitude longitudes and then all you have to do is to run the script and we will wait for just a few seconds and it's going to uh, create a dm for us so let's wait and you can see that we've got the dm now for that area the good thing about this one is you don't have to do any clipping or anything like that you just go to the area of interest and run the script and it's going to create the dem for you you can later on if you want generate contours but we don't need that for this tutorial okay so then the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to the uh qgis to 3 gis and then we'll have access to the dem here so if you look at this one, what you'll notice is this is like, uh, you know, in terms of elevations, this is like too much. 
And what's causing that is because the elevations, if we look at the DEM, you can see that they are between 324 uh, up to like 700 and something, but the extents are between like 35, I mean like the XY extents, 35 to minus 120. So for the 3D display, it's a bit confusing. What we can do is now to switch back to this one, which will display the coordinates in a different way. And this one will makes the elevation extent uh, much more smaller than the XY. And this should fix the issue. So let's go and open that again. And you can see that we've got this cool 3D view. But the problem is that we don't see that base map on the top of this one. Well, to solve that problem, all you have to do is to right click and choose properties. And then instead of uh, using map canvas image, which is basically it's going to show what's displayed on the Canva, it's going to use a layer as an image. And then all you have to do is to select the Google satellite and that should do the trick. And you can see now we've got this cool 3D uh, map. Now, in terms of texture, the resolution might not be that great. And one way to change that is we can go to the property again and you can see that the texture width is set to 1024. So based on like your computer and how much it can or like also how big is uh, the area, you can set this one to like, uh, like you can double this to make it like 2048 or what I can do in my case I can set this to like um, eight times more and let's go and click on apply and then okay this should take uh, a little bit of time so let's wait just a few seconds and yeah I'm gonna pause the video for a few seconds and then get back to you guys All right, it's uh, done loading and you can see now I've got this really high resolution texture and it looks uh, realistic to me. So you can go and play around with the texture. And the good thing is, as you guys have seen, it takes just a few seconds to create this cool landscape. Now, one more thing that you can do if you want to get rid of this part here, so you can either set it to like in the uh, Canva, you can either zoom in to just that area of interest like this one, or what you can do is you can go and look for extract layer extent and use that one with a DEM, which will generate a polygon that covers the extent of that um, of that DEM and then go to the uh, 3D view again. So I might need to pause this for a few seconds again because it's going to take uh, some time to load. Okay, see you in a few seconds. Okay, so I can see that again. And you can see that because I zoomed out, now all of this area is shown. But to solve that problem, and you can see also that I have access to that polygon here. So what I can do is I can go to the DM uh, properties, and then I'm going to um, clip uh, DM with polygon layer. And you can see that I have access to that extent polygon. And I click on apply. And then OK. And again, guys, I'm going to get back to you. Or oh, OK, it was clipped. And you can see that I've clipped that area. And now the good thing is, let's say that you want to take a screenshot from this side. You can also change the color here, like build sides. You can change this color to whatever you want. So I'm going to pick green, for example, to show you just how it works. And yeah, and then you can go and take screenshots or whatever you want. One cool trick also, if you're using, uh, like if you want to export this to a mining package, what you can do is you can go to file and then save as and 
uh, save it as a GTIF, this format GLB, for example, then download softwares like Blender. Blender is a free software. Import that one, then export it as OBJ. And OBJ is supported by most of the mining packages or like geological modeling packages like Leapfrog, um, Micromine, or any other package package that in which you can import like 3d wireframes and that was the first method so let's go to the second one so for the second one we're going to use two softwares one of them is QGIS okay so what we can do is let me go to uh, click on um, new print layout and let's say I'm going to say two and then what I can do is I'm going to create this simple layout. Okay, so then I'm going to zoom in to my DEM. Basically, what I'm going to do now is to export that DEM. Okay, once the DEM is going to cover like the full uh map here what i can do is i can go to like make sure that the coordinates are not uh, latitude longitude that's the first thing then i'm gonna go like to export as image and i'm gonna call this i'm gonna overwrite this one i'm gonna call it terrain one click on yes and then i'm gonna set this to like 600 Make sure to generate a world file. And I don't think that this one actually matters for the uh, the second method. I'm going to click on save. Okay, this should be exported to a high resolution uh, image. Okay, it was exported. So then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to hide this one and then go back to the same one and we're going to click on this one to refresh and we should have the base map. We're going to do the same thing and export this as let's say terrain 2 and make sure to set this one to the same resolution. It needs to have the same number of pixels. That's really important. Okay, once that is uh, done, so we can go to this one here, and then we can go to Area Load. We've already covered this in the past. It's a free software, but it's for like generating uh, 3D, you know, uh, terrains. But we can use this to create some really cool. Uh, images for like 3d landscapes so we've covered this in the past but why we're doing it now it's because they've released last week a new version so the first uh the version that we've covered in the past is the 2019 version but now we have access to the second uh version which is released uh two weeks ago so the version 2023 and we have some really cool features so let's go to the map here, I'm going to go double click here and I'm going to choose the one that we've just uh, created. And it should be this one. Of course, uh, it doesn't look that great because we've, choosing a re we've chosen a really small area, but then we can change this one instead of cubes to we're going to change this to surfaces. And this one should change to like surfaces and then we can set the scale to something like two. And yeah, it's um, let's change it to like 10. But it, this is just to show you how it works, but then make sure to choose, uh, you know, a larger area to uh, to have some to have better results and the new option is basically here you can actually import that terrain and it's going to use that uh, I mean like that base map and it's going to use that as a texture which makes it looks cool I'm going to show you a different one um, I'm going to show you a different one like the Santa Monica here and I'm going to change this to 
Uh, I'm going to remove the image so it's not shown anymore. And I'm going to turn the scale to one. So you can see if you have like a good location, how it will look like. So this one is uh, much better, I think. So you can see, guys, the terrain looks in uh, in how they look in 3D. And you can change this one to polygon, for example, or cubes if you want. So you can change and see and try different styles. So I like the surface because it's more realistic. And there's also uh, the option to add fog, for example. This is really cool. So if I set this one to one, you can see that the fog starts to appear. And um uh, make sure also to wait for the render to finish so before like taking a screenshot and anything like that so i can set this one maybe to 0.5 because i think one is already too much that's 10. 0.5 yeah it's just to show you what's possible guys and all you have to do is just to play around with the parameters and yeah so let's set this to 1.1 and yeah with the texture if you also have the texture for the area it's gonna look really cool like i've showed you in the examples in the beginning of the tutorial so yeah make sure to try these and um you know, send me some of your work on LinkedIn. I will be happy to see these results that or these images that you guys create. And I hope this video was informative. And uh, with that being said, see you on the next video.